athletes of all here at the Aiba Youth World Boxing Championships. 24 boxers started this super heavyweight tournament. We're down to the final four being contested by boxers from Georgia and Germany. Georgi Chigladzi will square off against Nelvi Tiafak. Determine who will go through to the gold medal bout. First time we final underway in the 91 kilogram plus super heavyweight division. The man wearing red is the reigning Georgian national youth champion, Georgi, Georgi Chigladzi. The man wearing blue on the front foot trying to close the distance is Nelvi Tiafak of Germany. He too a reigning national youth champion picked up that title early this year adding to the under 18 national title he won last year bronze medalist in the european championships early this year was chigladzi resides in tbilisi whereas tiafak lives in cologne at sc colonia cologne comes in into this tournament off the back of a really impressive victory in the Brandenburg Cup. An alternations tournament in Frankfurt. Both these men really launching some heavy punches to begin this opening round. Very relaxed is TFX. Just a little bit untidy there. Speak of crossing as he is marching forward good left jab from Tiafak and when he sets up behind that most basic of punches 
and he was able to get plenty of force behind the following right hand. Jolton left jab from Tia back once again, and he dipped at the knees after taking a furious combination of punches, and Chigladze is keen to hold on. Because he was tagged by a good left hand, an arcing right hand went inside and caught him on the chin. He almost lost his boxing stance, almost touched down, and claimed his man around the torso to prevent him from doing so. Coming back with hooks now, and both of these boxers swinging lustily inside the closing minutes of this opening round. So again, it's Chigladze who's keen to hold on. And just becoming a little bit untidy there. Chigladze struggling to deal with the effective aggression of the German boxer at times during that round, most notably when his knees buckled during one particular use a lot of punches from this man. Seconds Second round. So the second round then, and it's an aggressive start to this second session. From Tierfak immediately onto the front foot and trying to close the distance by launching that right hand. Chigladzi hasn't really established much of a rhythm to this point for his own work. Instructions in the corner were clear. It's a hard left hand to the body from Tierfak. Part of an eight strong German boxing team. Second semi second man to make it through to the semi-finals on the bronze medal stage. And again, the right hand inside of Tierfak is beating Chigladzis to the punch. Both launching at the same time. But invariably, whether it's hitting target area or not it's the man from blue who's landing first but there's a cracking roundhouse right that didn't land with the correct knuckle part of the glove but it certainly got the attention of TFX with that looping right hand from Chigladze TFX didn't receive a bye in his opening round 5-0 unanimous point to Zim Victor over Milan Volkov from Latvia he was a 4-1 winner over China's Jia Hao. And at the quarter-final stage, he outpointed Ukraine's Vyacheslav Havlyuk. Unanimous point decision as well. Gladly too competing in his fourth contest. No bye for him. Pointing the man from Finland 5-0 before he was a one on disqualification over Thomas Salek of the Czech Republic. And then a 3-2 split decision winner. Over Arboldi Barenoli 
Kazakhstan. A hard road through to the final four, particularly for the reigning European Championship bronze medalist. Here on his return to Russia, where he picked up that bronze in Anapa earlier this year, and he improved on the bronze medal that he won at that particular championship by progressing to the final here. Free swinging affair in the closing stages of that second round. So to the third and final round then, straight away, Tierfak comes out. When he uses that left jab, he looks an altogether different fighter. When he snakes in behind a single or double or even triple left jab on occasion, far different to the mauling offense we're seeing just here. When he sets up behind a left jab, which he shoots out very quickly, invariably it's traveling upwards. It's a very impressive prospect. It's a good, hard single right hand to the body. But again, the jab missing from his offensive output in the following offenses other than what we saw at the start of the third round. But when he uses it, oh goodness, he looks tired. And these are a of towering teenagers. She glides the 18, see if back just 17 years of age. Already comfortably in the super heavyweight division and wonders what type of athlete they're going to mature into. How much quicker are they going to get? They continue to mature and develop physically over the next few years. All rather untidy. And where is the jab of Tierfax? Right hand lead that time on a reverse one two. There's the jab in evidence once more from Tierfax. And again, it's a far tidier combination of punches than the one that followed it, where the jab wasn't in evidence. Fainting in evidence now from Chigladzi. Good right hand from the man in red. Good left hand. Good and the right hand response is that same roundhouse right from Chigladzi. I guess the crowd upon their feet here. The Seabird Arena. Right hand success is of that variety. There's another one. It was a three shot salvo, right, left, right, and all of them are coming around the corner in straight arm fashion from Jigladzi. And they are finding the chin of Tierfak. And this time it's he who's keen to hold on. Strong conclusion. To the bout with both men laying it on the line in order to progress through to contest championship gold here. Very good encounter indeed, but in the closing stages, the grander finish was produced by Chigladzi. This man started well though, and would invariably start each round well behind snaking left jab.
В этом поединке Бразилия в решении в суде и победу одержал спортсмен Рэд And the European Championship bronze medalist will come away with at least world championship silver here, having made it through to the gold medal bout at the expense of Nelvi Tierfak from Germany. He comes away with championship bronze. A terrific performance by him. He's only been boxing two years. But Chigladzi prevails 3-2 on the judges' scorecards. He will go through to tomorrow's final.